Have you ever wanted to make a snuffle ball for your dog? Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm gonna show you just how to do it. Hey, my name is Jessica. I'm the furry family coach. And in this video, we're gonna take our extra pieces of fleece from where we made our snuffle mat and we're gonna make a snuffle ball. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got this extra fleece left over from where I made my snuffle mat. And what I'm gonna do is I want my snuffle ball to be two different um, colors of fleece, just like I did my snuffle mat, so they'll match. So I laid two pieces, my two pieces of fleece on top of one another. And all I really want out of this fabric is going to be about three feet long and about and about uh, eight inches across. So I want three feet by about eight inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out of my fabric. And I'm gonna um, just keep my two pieces of fabric on top of one another because I wanna make sure I'm getting this, the exact same size pieces of fabric out of them. This is gonna be kind of a, a small to medium sized ball that I'm gonna be making here because my dog is, um, fairly small dog. Okay, so this is what I'm left with. And what you want to do is we're going to start cutting um, on both sides, going to fringe both sides, but we want to leave a small strip right in the middle where we don't cut anything at all so that it stays intact right in the middle. So um, you can kind of eyeball it, but just make sure that, that you leave that strip in the middle. And we're only going to cut maybe about a finger's width. If it helps you to draw out where you wanna cut, you can do that with um, but with it, like a fabric pencil. I just didn't go to the store to buy one, so I'm gonna kinda eyeball it. Once you're done cutting the fringe on one side, go ahead and turn it over and cut the fringe on the other side. Just make absolutely sure you have that space that small gap in the middle where you don't cut through. Okay, once you've got both sides fringed, what you're gonna do is just lay your fabric back out in front of you as flatly as you possibly can, which can be difficult since it's fringed. And then you just want to start rolling it as tightly as you can get it. And we're just gonna roll it all the way down. All right. So now we have this all rolled up. And the next thing we're gonna wanna do is take a zip tie, or if you prefer to use like a thick thread, you can do that too, but it's really, really super easy to just use a zip tie. And we're gonna pull this all the way around here. Okay, and then we're gonna, whoop, pull our zip tie as tight as you can possibly get it just like that. There we go. And shake it up. And you can even kind of pull it apart a little bit. And there you see that wonderful snuffle ball. Now then you're going to want to take some scissors and uh, cut the excess strip from the zip tie all the way down as low as you can pop because you don't want this poking your dog. One other thing I like to do just to make sure that my dog doesn't get poked is take two of the strips of fabric right here where the zip tie ends and I'm just gonna tie a knot right over top of it so that I know my dog isn't gonna get to that uh, hard piece of plastic and it's not gonna hurt hurt their mouth. So just like that, I'm gonna tie a knot right there over it 
so it's no longer exposed. And you can even tie a second one if you like, which I'm just going to do here. And tie a second one around it. Okay, so that's just me being extra cautious. So there you have it. Quick and easy way to make a snuffle ball for your dog. So how do we use this? It's really that easy to make a snuffle ball for your dog. Like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, that way you never miss another video. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.